I'm here with Jeremy who is behind the camera at Animal Kingdom and we are here to check out all the Christmas decorations and I don't know if you can tell but there's already some puppets out behind us. This is what we came for. I can't wait to get out there and see them. Follow along. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy This tree is so much cooler during the day. You can actually see all the decorations. Wow. Here's a much better view of Stitch. I can actually see him now that it's daylight. And that looks like the train that takes you back to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Oh, I didn't realize all the cars are connected. That's so cute. These masks are fantastic. They are so detailed. I love these. They have these giant wooden um, snowflakes and they have like the rain sticks and they have like traditional like actual woven baskets and I just can't get over the masks. And those colorful baskets that you see, those are really cool. Those are actually made in Africa and they're made from recycled um, wires, like cable wires and stuff like that. It's really, really cool. Okay, I don't even have a good enough zoom to zoom in on the top, but it is a wooden star that is so insanely covered in twinkle lights. That's so cool. These are so pretty, and I love this centerpiece right here. It looks almost like a jellyfish the way it's hanging, and then at the end, it almost looks like a kelp or seaweed. These are so pretty with the orchids and all. I really, really love these. There's a cold front coming through and none of the birds are in the water. They are all outside. That's too funny. This guy's... Oh wait, there is a bird in the water. He's eating something. Wait, we got two birds eating over here. One is in the water. That water's probably real cold. He's brave. And that other one's like, I'm going to cling to the side of this rock and oh, he's going to fall in the water. Oh my gosh. He's losing his grip. Don't fall in. <laughs> he can't get a grip with his foot. He's eating something though. Bubbles! All oh, the bubbles! Oh, those are so cool. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Oh my gosh, that's awesome! All right, these puppeteers are fantastic. Wow, that's amazing. Look at the bear. Oh, looks like they're heading out. Oh, and there's the wolf. She's heading out. Oh my gosh, look, she even jumps like they do. This is cool. I can't wait till they come out again. They even have live music. Thank you so much. You too. One is the steel drum in the background, and two are these owls and the lanterns. We showed them lit up in our last video, but they're even gorgeous during the day. I would, these would be cool to line the front of my garden with. That'd be awesome. I can't even make it out of Discovery Island. There's so much to see. Look at these, these are gorgeous, these swags, and each one has a different animal. Here's a duck, and here's a carved, would you call that a yak? Yeah, we're gonna go with yak because I don't know what else to call that. And then this one has a monkey. These are so cool. And can you hear the Christmas music? I would love to buy this soundtrack of their Christmas suite because these songs are amazing. There's no words, it's just all um, instrumentals, but I love the beats and the like, um, the twist they put on them to make them more fit to Animal Kingdom. They've changed the backstage door into a Christmas themed Instagram wall. <gasps> this is amazing. 
I wonder if they change because these are the birds that were out. It was one of those um, foxes and a bear, but there are other animals here with the heron and the dove, the reindeer, the penguins, and the squirrel. So I wonder if different animals come out at different times. We will definitely be spending more time in Discovery Island to try to figure that out for you today. But this wall is amazing. You have to stop and get a picture here uh, this holiday season, you just have to. So now we're making our way onto the into the Valley of Mawara on, in Pandora, because supposedly they have some Christmas decorations this year. So we're gonna go try and find them. Santa Mech has come to Pandora. Oh my gosh, he is epic. Look at his beard. He is covered in Christmas lights. And they've even decorated um, Pongu Pongu and Wind Traders for Christmas. I love that they have a menorah for Hanukkah. Then look at the Avatar Nutcracker. Please tell me they sell that because that's amazing. And I just love these decorations, like the crocheted Santa head. And they have some of like the actual Ace um, logos. And I love how the lights look like they're repurposed. And they even have a little mistletoe. Hey, I found a spot out of the sun. Look at the Banshee, the wood carved Banshee they have on there. These are so cool. And look, they even have their own little elf on the shelf in the stocking. Jeremy is so getting so much better than I am. Look at the hidden Mickey. I can't believe he spotted it and I missed it. <gasps> and that's a snowman behind it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So we stopped into Wind Traders to see if they sell any of those decorations. The only ornaments I see so far are these eye crayons and they are plastic and they are $21.99 each but they're $20 each if you buy three. And there are three different ones. There's the teal, the blue, and the pink. Like if they made small versions of these, these wood ones in the orange, like these up here. If they sold those as Christmas ornaments, that would be perfect, because that's the kind of stuff I love. I don't like the plastic, necessarily colorful ones. I like the kind of rustic, natural looking ornaments. So I spoke with a cast member. Because this is the very first year they've ever decorated in Pandora for Christmas, they don't sell any of these as ornaments yet, but I am praying they do for next year because these are just gorgeous. And if they shrunk those down, these wood ones to ornament size with those colors, they would sell like crazy. All right, we've made it back to Earth and are now heading into Harambe in Africa to see how they've decorated for Christmas this year. Okay, so we're here. Um, at the seating area right next to the Festival of the Lion King and look at how cute these decorations are. Look at the little Santas. I love them. And all of these look like they're handcrafted, which is awesome. <gasps> Can you see the Mickeys? There's Mickeys in the ribbon. I love it. And the cool thing is it looks like each building is decorated differently. So lots to see here. Here at the Mahindi popcorn stand, they have little huts. I love these. These are gorgeous. And here they have three different popcorn buckets, the Lion King drum, the Christmas tree, and Peppermint Mickey. And they also have the um, snowman tum the drink cup, sipper. The pin station's just wrapped in colorful ribbons and a lot of different like native looking plants for the garland. This is really pretty too. The Muziki drum stand just has a garland of net and it has like some beadwork ornaments. Those are so pretty as well. And here at the, I think this is the, I have actually no idea what this is. This is across from the pin station and the drum stand. And they have little like wooden shaker instruments and they're all carved. So this one has elephants. And that one it looks like has like a whale on it. These are wicked cool. Makes me so happy that he's getting some love today. He is like always here and he is fantastic. He's definitely worth watching for a minute or two. This is a cool wreath. And this is something that like you could DIY at home, which I really like. So it's just bottle caps. They have sodas and beers, and then they made an elephant out of bottle caps in the back. And these are just, they drilled little holes and wired it together and made a cage. That is so cool and so easy. And then they just tied some ribbon around. I love this. And that's really cool too, how they did the swag with the wooden balls in the middle and the ribbons and the native plants. That is beautiful. And then the actual Harambe market is just all 
a little bit of everything, the wooden balls, the ribbons, and the native plants. And then Harambe Market is just a little bit of all of it. It's the native plants, the ribbons, and the wooden ornaments. Here's another cool, fun little DIY wreath. They took a bike tire, wrapped lights on it, and these are like foam rubber balls and just some uh, ribbon. This is really cool too. And I love the Mickey. And here's a bigger version of the bottle cap wreath, and this one has a giraffe in it. Oh, and this one even has lights mixed in with it too. They have um, Christmas lights inside of the bottle cap cages. So this is right next to the Kusafiri coffee shop and there's like a little seating area underneath this arch and they just have this little swag with tin can lights that they made and they poked little designs into it almost like snowflakes. So pretty. Here at Mombasa Marketplace which is the Lion King store they have these gorgeous this is cool this is actually made out of the cans. Um, where they've cut the cans into strips and wrapped it with wire to make an animal. They have some of the hand-carved masks and the beaded bowls along with some native flowers and some baubles on just a traditional green Christmas wreath. This is beautiful too. I'm loving all of these decorations. And inside of the store is all decorated too and they have these really cool Christmas trees. Like look at the drums on it. This is so cool. Oh, I really like this tree too, how for garland they used the raffia and wrapped it around. And this one just has a lot of the carvings, like look at the elephant, oh that's cool. Then they have a cool Lion King tree where they just have all the different Lion King ornaments all over it. And they used a gold raffia um, where they just, it's not a full garland, it's just tied two different branches of the tree. That's neat too. If you want to bring home a truly unique gift, uh, one of these from the market would be amazing to bring home because all of these bead sets are for sale. They are handcrafted right here in the park and um, they actually bring over craftsmen from Africa to make all of these and they are just gorgeous. They are so bright and colorful and this is a gift that you're that's going to be unique and you're not going to be able to find anywhere else. Then they also have another unique gift, all the wood carvings. So they also always have a wood carver here who is actually sitting here carving who you can interact with and they make all of these here. So this is another unique gift that you're not really going to be able to get anywhere else because no two are going to be exactly the same. And here at the face painting booth over by the Kilimanjaro Safaris, they have like a larger coffee can that they have made into the Christmas light garland where they've just poked all the holes in so the design shines through. And here at the Curiosity Center Animal Tour booth, they have these awesome little handmade dolls on this garland. I love these. These are so unique. I wish they sold all this stuff. Now this is my kind of DIY Christmas tree. Look at this. It's made of wheels. Um, so it's just like a big like a cart, an old cart wheel with some bicycle wheels supporting it. And they just have all different, like some planners. That is from like an oil can. It's like an oil funnel. This is cool. Oh my gosh, I love this. And this Christmas tree's made out of funnels and screws and nuts. Oh my gosh, that's, you could literally make these yourself. This is amazing. And I love that here in Harambe, all the lampposts are just wrapped with a thick rope and just decorate it with lights and some handcrafted ornaments. It's so um, subtle, but I bet you this looks beautiful after dark. Oh my gosh, I am loving these. Here's another different one uh, made of a bike wheel with some lights and ribbon and they're chickens. They're chickens around the outside. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Do you see it? It's a chicken. And now we're heading into Asia and you can see all the lanterns during the day. These are so pretty. They look almost like kites. They're like a kite material. So beautiful. I love the bright colors. All right, so I hate the sun, but look at how beautiful this is with all the flowers and the lanterns. Oh my gosh, the colors just really pop. That yellow is just beautiful. This is not Christmas related at all, but I'm in between um, the Up Show and Yak and Yeti, and this light pole has these really cool signs. Like this one talks about meeting up for a tour every Tuesday, and this one, Please enjoy flowers by viewing. I love the details. I always, I'm noticing something new every time I come. 
Now it's interesting, I'm here in the Asia area over by Yak and Yeti and there are no decorations here. Which is really weird because I thought every land was supposed to be decorated. So now we're going to take a walk on the Maharaja Jungle Trek because it's cool enough we're hoping the tigers will be active but also Germ wants to see a real life dragon. So let's go. Well here's a much better view. They are the lion tailed macaques. They're so cute. Have these giant bats always been here? Because I don't remember ever seeing them before. Maybe I just never looked up. <gasps> Here's an itty bitty dragon. These are tree monitors. I was like, it's cold. Everything will be out. But everything's put away because it's too cold. There's a little skink. Well, he's not so little. He's actually a gigantic skink because he covers almost the entire length of this cage. But he's just chilling. Maybe they're actually doing work on the bat enclosure because they have the windows like covered up. All right, we're heading into the tiger forest. Although tigers are present in the forest, you would be very safe by walking on the well-traveled paths. Don't go off the trails. So if you are like me and like hidden Mickey hunting, the Maharaja Jungle Trek is a great place to go because there are a ton of them hidden in these murals. So in these murals, there are a total of nine hidden Mickeys. So when you're coming in, um, right before you come in on the left, the mur first mural has two hidden, has one hidden Mickey. The first archway, each side has two hidden Mickeys. The second archway, each side has one hidden Mickey. And this mural over here has two hidden Mickeys. And me and Germ found them all. Well, we found all but one. We did need help on one. No, I didn't. Yeah, the oh, one yeah. mural where we both gave up. But um, we found the rest of them ourselves. All right, I have no idea what these are called, but they're out. There's actual animals out today. It's so exciting. Oh wait, the water buffalo. I know what they are. They're actually moving and I'm not even filming them. They're walking around. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh, it's moving. It's alive. Oh, they're both moving. Oh, they're walking together. Oh, there go the McCalls for the, for the bird fish show. They must be going, must have just finished. So they're going backstage. So this is looking promising that there may be tigers out because there was a ton of people on this bridge and they're all looking the same way. Oh, I see a tiger butt. It's not tigers, but I see a bunch of ducks. There's the tiger. Oh my gosh, he's looking at us. He's like, these people look tasty. Oh, he's gorgeous. He's moving. This is making my day. I've never seen them move before. Sorry, I hope it's not too shaky. I'm super zoomed in and I'm trying to stick the camera between the nets. Pay attention to the details because even though there's no hidden Mickeys in these, these murals are all stunning. They are just absolutely beautiful. Through the mystical curtain. Really? Ow, ow! You hit me so hard with that. It's the aviary. And because this is the birds of the royal forest, they have a bird guide that you can carry with you that tells you all about all the birds here. All right, so that down there is, I think, a mandarin duck. I don't know if you could even see that. <clears throat> All right, so those guys with the yellow turkey neck are, shoot, I lost it. Those are masked plovers. That one, I believe, is a mandarin duck. I believe, I could be wrong. Um, the gray one is I have, I think it's an imperial pigeon, but I'm not positive. No, it can't be. I don't know what that is. So that one right there, I believe, is the imperial pigeon on the log. I don't know what that one is. It's some type of duck. All right. So I totally said that one was the pigeon. That one doesn't have a yellow eye, though. Yes, it does. So that's... What is that, the starling? Starling. I lost it, I can't even see it now. There it is, so that one is a starling, not a pigeon. Oh, 
look at the parakeet. He's such a pretty color. Oh my gosh, he's so colorful. He's gorgeous. That's right. Yes, come closer. Let me see you better. Thank you. This is very hard to see, but I swear to you it's green, and we think this is the Nicobar pigeon. <gasps> Whoa, where did all those... Whoa, that was crazy. Oh my god. Oh, because she brought food, so all the birds... Whoa, it's feeding time. They're everywhere. Oh my god. That was crazy. Um, but anyway, as we were saying, we think that's a Nicobar pigeon. Oh yeah, it's literally feeding time. She's putting food out. Oh. He's so pretty, but I don't even think you can see him correctly. Man, there's birds flying everywhere right now. This is insanity. I think I can see it. There it is, right there. Right there. That's the Pete Imperial pigeon. Oh my gosh, there's birds everywhere. Whoa, that one almost took that guy's head off. It's a feeding frenzy. It's feeding time. These birds are missing our heads by like inches. It's crazy. That is a dove. That is some kind of dove. It's beautiful, but it's not a traditional dove color. You can't see it. The sunlight isn't working for me. That's a green winged dove. Oh, there you go. Now you can see it better. You can actually see the green wings. Oh my God, they're just missing me. One of these birds is gonna land on me and I'm gonna freak out. Mom, way up there. Oh, one of the pigeons. That's, oh my God, they're gonna get me. That's the, what, the imperial pigeon? Is that what that one was? Nickelbar. The Nickelbar pigeon, so pretty. This is insanity. There's birds flying everywhere. I don't like being here during feeding time. There's, there's, Not the, there's at all. the imperial pigeons. Mom. Oh my God, wait, look, he's right here. Mom. Look at him, look at him. Okay, look at the imperial pigeons. There's three of them. Well, There's the Imperial Pigeons. But this one's like gonna poop on my head. He's right above me. I probably should have my mouth. Oh God. He did not poop on me. We're good. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. This is craziness. They're so cool. Now it's feeding time for the pigeons. So feeding time is a crazy time to be in here because the birds are going insane. They are all over the place. Oh my gosh, now you can see him. What's this one again, the Nickelback? Nickelbar. Nickelbar pigeon, he's so cool. I love him. Disney, what is he doing? Whoa, these are the Victoria crown pigeons. They're gorgeous, there's a peacock too. It's a pheasant. Oh, it's a pheasant? I just saw the, the edge of the feathers. These are so pretty. God, look at, the sh look at the crowns on them, they're gorgeous. And there's a really good view of the Nicobar. He kind of has his feathers all furled so you can really see the, the difference in color in his feathers. Oh, that's a plum-headed parakeet. And what was the other parakeet? Plum-headed parakeet. And then another parakeet. Yeah, that's it. Look how big that is. But they're so pretty. There's also a gorgeous pheasant that just will not come to where I can see him. There you go. Come on out. Are you sure that's a pheasant? That's a great Argus pheasant. That is a cool looking bird. Tail. It's gigantic. It's almost like peacock size with its feathers. Oh, here's a better picture of that turkey neck looking bird. Turkey neck. What's that one called? That is the masked plover. The masked plover, the undefined duck that we have no idea what it is. And then the mandarins. And then we exit back into reality. I could stay in there all day. That was so much fun. And I believe that's it. We should be heading back into Harambe now, but I'm not positive. Oh, yeah. Aha, I didn't even know they had these. So we saw black bucks, lion-tailed macaques, the bar-headed goose, and we saw water buffalo, and of course the Sumatran tigers. Oh, look at him. He's just chilling on the edge playing. The other one's chilling a little bit below. Oh, there he goes. He's moving. And in he goes. And the second enclosure, the monkeys are out as well. The one just seems to be just copying. The one just copying the other. Ooh, they're fighting. So they're just copying each other. Oh, they, they <laughs> He's like, that was mine. 
So we're almost all the way through Asia now and there are still no Christmas decorations. I don't understand it. I really thought everything was supposed to be decorated. A bird pooped on my backpack in that aviary. I am not okay with this. That is disgusting. Pro tip, whenever you get a wet nap, extra wet naps from restaurants, save them because that's what I just used and now my backpack's all clean again. I mean, it still needs to go in like the washing machine, but it'll get me through the day. For as many people that are walking around, it's not a horrible day. It's an 80 minute wait for Everest, it was a 90 minute wait for Flight of Passage. It's not unbearably busy today. So we did take a short about, um, 45 minute break to watch Finding Nemo the Musical. That was Jerm's first time watching it. I didn't film anything of it because we filmed it a bunch of times and we were sitting way back. But now we're gonna head into Dino Land and check out the decorations there. So, where Goofy does his meet and greet, Santa is all decorated for Christmas. His toy has turned into a tree and they have this awesome white garland with targets and dinosaurs and all kinds of fun little dino themed trinkets. And because this is technically still a holiday weekend, because we just went past Thanksgiving, Primeval World is open. It is back in seasonal operation. So if you want to ride it, now's your chance. So the main street to the right of Primeval World is where all the decorations are. The lampposts have these awesome candy canes. And then when we turn around, I hope the sun's not going to kill it. The Dino Donald's Dinosaur Ancestors DJ party the truck is all decorated. And this has some fun green garland with baubles and these are lights. Oh my gosh, these dinosaurs are lights. I bet you that looks really cool at night. This is my most favorite snowman of all time. He has got to be at least 10 plus feet tall. He is covered in lights. There's red lights in the red, there's white lights in the whites, and the green has multicolored lights. There's orange lights in his beak. I cannot wait to come back at night and see this lit up. I am in love. And then Donald is all decked out in his Christmas gear and he has some really cool Christmas trees. Trying to zoom in on the tree without being in anybody's pictures. But there is a dinosaur. Oh my gosh, the dinosaur has a Santa hat for the tree topper. And there are these really cool Donald and dinosaur um, ornaments on the tree. Those are awesome. So this is above the Welcome Center where Donald does his meet and greet and they have these three caroling dinosaurs. Holy cow, it just got so windy. The temperature is dropping. This must be so amazing looking at night. Outside of Triceratops Spin, they have a couple giant Christmas trees, like handmade Christmas trees. They're green garland with red lights and then they have a yellow star on top. Definitely will be back at night to see all these. And it's really cool. This reminds me of my town because my town does this where the lampposts are all different Christmas decorations. So here's a tree. Uh, across the way right there is a bell. But then we come up to Restaurantosaurus. Oh wow, right across from Restaurantosaurus they have Abdim Storks. And these are a smaller breed of storks, but they're gorgeous. Okay, Launchpad went above and beyond to decorate his hanger for Christmas. Oh, I love the Scrooge McDuck wrapping paper. But there are so many Christmas lights here. And look, there's just a tangled ball of Christmas lights hanging. And if you look closely at his wreath, it is covered in aviation. There's all kinds of airplanes. The baubles are globes. They have a little light. Oh, it's so dark. There we go. That's like the, a light off a plane. They have planes, the baubles are globes. This is awesome. And this is the entrance to Restaurantosaurus. They have this adorable little garland wrapped around all the things. And these aren't actual ornaments. They're like toy dinosaurs that they drilled holes in and put wire through to make ornaments. That's hysterical. And then Santa's hanging out on the roof of Restaurantosaurus along with one of his reindeer. I do see a red nose though, so it looks like Rudolph. And it looks like the only decoration inside is the one wreath. And it's cute, it's covered in mittens, I love it. We'll be needing them tonight, it is getting cold out. And how appropriate for Scrooge McDuck that his decorations are all gold. They have, looks like strings of pearls, and it's gold garland and gold baubles, and there's like crystals, and then there's money cases, there's even strings of coins, that's pretty awesome. 
Penny does have this wickedly cool Christmas tree covered in giant coins of himself. I love it. And then the sign for the boneyard just has some Christmas lights, but the real piece de resistance of uh, Dino Land is the Brontosaurus is completely covered in Christmas lights. And I believe they change color because another video I saw they were purple, but they're green right now. So we 100% have to come back at night and see this guy all lit up. I don't know if the colors are showing up at all, but they did change color. Now it's all red and green. But here's my favorite thing. He has a Santa hat and a beard that is amazing. And can you see the moon? The moon's out. And now we're gonna end our tour coming back onto Discovery Island and hopefully see some different puppets out. Oh my gosh, it's a Christmas Kevin. Just kidding, it's just Kevin. But she's out and about. And she must be loving today because it's nice and cool out so she won't be sweating to death. And Kevin is always walking the opposite direction that I'm going in. It's a Kevin. She's beautiful. She's noisy. Oh my gosh, Doug and Russell and Kevin are all talking to each other. <laughs> this is amazing. They're making faces at each other. That was perfect. Said to Jerem, how about we hang out for a few minutes to see if any puppets come out and they're all coming out. Fox. Because I watched the show. It's definitely a fox. How do you know, huh? Here they come. Back for more. Oh, she's saying hi. Oh my gosh, how beautiful is the bear? He's so beauty. He's gorgeous. Holy cow! Mama bear's out. Oh, she's trying to eat the. Oh, that's amazing. God, these are gorgeous. These are so unbelievable. Oh, she's nuzzling the kids. I'm gonna cry. This is so sweet. All right, I want a picture with Mama Bear. This fox is so cool. She's so pretty. The puppeteers are really good at giving them more natural type movements and making them just come to life. This is fantastic. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so I just was, Jeremy thankfully was with me to take pictures. I just got some of the greatest pictures with those puppeteers and puppets. I'm gonna insert them all right here because they're just, oh my gosh, those puppeteers are amazing. Like all the props to them. They truly bring those animals to life and just the facial expressions and the way they move them. Oh my gosh, like I, I can't stop smiling. That was so much fun. That is a southern giant southern anteater. Southern giant anteater. Really need one of those for my front lawn. Two hours later. So I don't know how much I've actually talked about this in the vlogs, but we do Elf on the Shelf in our house. Um, and last night, <clears throat> our main elf, Dory, this is the elf we've had for years. She is training the new elf and Stitch in how to be an elf, Elf 101. And I love it, they even have their own how to elf textbooks. And they even have some like elfing posters hanging out. I love my elf on the shelf. So for Cyber Monday sale at Michael's, I got this really awesome little advent calendar. However, it's little, the drawers are small. Cause I had this epic idea of doing a Disney mystery pin advent calendar for K. Cause we have all these pins stacked up yes. um, to open, <clears throat> but we had a hard time finding ones that I had that will fit. But because it's the second, K gets to do two days today. So we're gonna, wait a minute. We're gonna get ready and break in. All right, Kay, because today is December 2nd, you can do drawer one and drawer two. So drawer one has a mystery pin. Well, of course it has a mystery pin. I know, it's a mystery pin set. Drum roll. 
And this is from the Disney Dogs set. And it is Tramp. He's so blurry. Focus. He's so cute. All right. And drawer number two. Drum roll. Uh-oh, it's stuck. Like I said, it was very hard to get them in. We had to cram them. And this is from, what set is this? I think this is the backpacks. Turf, flip it over yeah, and it shows yes. the backpacks. Okay. Now there is a stitch one of these, so I'm hoping we wind up getting one by I the end of Ursula. this. Oh, there's an Ursula one too? Yes. Score. All right, drum roll. That was unintentional. Donald! Donald! He's so cute. I love him. Now we put them back. All right, so that is two down, 22 to go. Now the last six will be a little bit different because I had two boxes of the new Tiny Kingdoms and each box comes with three pins. So the last six days will be from the brand new Tiny Kingdoms mystery pin sets. But other than that, we have the backpack series, the dog series, and there's one other, the bottle cap series. So we will be getting a lot of fun pins over the next few days. All right, guys, that's going to do it for our Christmas fun here in Animal Kingdom. I never did find out why there are zero decorations in Asia. The couple cast members I was going to ask had a really long line, so I wasn't able to ask them. But if you know why, please put it in the comments below because I'm very curious. But if you guys like these videos, please click that subscribe button, tap the like, and ring that notification bell so you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank you so much for watching, and now we're on to the next adventure. Bye, guys!